everybody. Um, hi, back from Ireland. So, um, a little bit of a series that I want to throw this way at you because I could just post these pictures and let you see them and try to make noise of them yourself. But you know, as usual, Rochelle usually has, oh, sorry, Sawyer, usually has a little something to say about this stuff. So, I'm going to show you some of the signs that I came across uh, up here and I just want to kind of throw my thoughts at you a little bit about what I was thinking was going on here. So let's check this one out first, okay? This is a road sign. The road sign says, amongst other things, this one caught me, Berwick upon Tweed. What, what the, Berwick upon Tweed, was it like Tweed was there first and, you know, Berwick invaded them and, you know, if so, I mean, is like Tweed a little pissed off at that or something? I don't know. So, um, the other thing that kind of threw me, check out the other part of this sign. Check this out. Look at this. Okay. City bypass. You would think that if you put a city on the map and on the road sign, that they want to be found, that you want to find it. So, city bypass? Seriously. Okay. You know, well, so, whatever. Um, then, as we were jotting around, we were in this podunk town that I think has a spittoon full of people, and as we got lost, as per normal, in our streets, um, we came across this sign. Check this one out. Okay? Caution. Blind person crossing. Okay, so does that mean that the, they can't go down and cross at the normal crosswalk where everybody else is like crossing where it's safe. You know, what are they going to do? That, you know, no, you, you go back there where your crossing is. You are not allowed to cross with us. And you know, the other thing that caught me is if it's a blind person, how do they know the sign is even there? I, you know, so these things kind of puzzled me a little bit. So when we were down around Galway, around the cathedral, I looked down on the pavement and I saw this guy. Check this out. Okay. Um, just saying, he kind of looks like one of those bodies that you draw the line around when somebody's been murdered or killed or homicide things, you know, like on the television shows. So that kind of made me a little bit nervous. You know, I kind of asked Patrick if we could just, like, you know, go down the street a little bit and cross there. So. One of the other things, though, um, we were pedestrianing ourselves, I know that's my new word, um, into other places, and we were crossing this bridge. Well, on the other side of this bridge, this sign shows up. Check this out. Okay. In case of emergency, if you see a vehicle strike this railway bridge, please inform rail track immediately by... Okay. So has this happened before, or has this happened enough that they actually have to post a sign that says, if a vehicle strikes this bridge? I, yeah, you. So um, the other thing, though, that was even more hilarious is continuing on this sign. Check out the next line, okay? So if you see this, telephone by dialing, telephone number, and they get, don't, don't call, okay? Nobody call that number, okay? Just saying. So, and state, bridge, strike at bridge, number four, Portobello Road, lay it. So what happens if you don't say it right, just as they stated that you're supposed to state it? You know, I mean, are they gonna go, <coughs> sorry, never mind, hang up and do it right next time, click? I don't know. It it's kind of a strange country. You know, we might speak the same language, but I don't think we really convey things the same way. So, the last one I want to show you, because I'm going to keep this one short, is uh, back to the handicappy kind of thing. We were walking along, and so this, this post was here. Check this one out. <laughs> okay. Disabled drivers only pass this point. So, does that mean that, that if they've been driving on the road normally, um, wouldn't they be normal drivers and not disabled, but if they maybe just got behind the wheel and they let them to come up to here and it just says beyond this point, you know, I kind of wanted to see what was beyond that point, like 
are there pillows on the side of the road or something just you know kind of buffer or something I don't know so it's a strange country filled with um, some common language but definitely not the way they spell say think or convey so I've got a whole bunch of these other ones um, I'm more than happy to share them with you we'll see how that goes okay ciao for now or should we say cheers